G'day from sunny New Zealand. This is Paul from uh, just northwest of Auckland in New Zealand. Uh, we're very fortunate to live out here at the beautiful beach, about 30 miles or 50 kilometers northwest of Auckland. Uh, let me get on and show you my studio project. Welcome to the sick bay. So this is inside my room. It's a great little room, but being a smaller room, there's some issues with the sound with the bottom end mainly and so I contacted Dennis of Acoustic Fields to um, help me once and for all fix the place you know I want to be able to hear these bad boys and um, hear them accurately looking around you can see there's a bit of makeshift acoustic treatment on the walls and a little bit of cheap foam in all the corners there's some mics and whatnot set up because we have a little band practice in here tonight. One way or the other, I've been playing music for a long time. Guitar is my main instrument, although um, I play bass and drums a little bit as well, like most people. Um, recording's really a hobby. I like to help some people record their music in my little room here, and um, it's just really meant to be a lot of fun. And that said, you've got to be able to hear correctly. And it's all well and good having all this nice gear, but if I can't hear it correctly, it's pointless. And yeah, I've done some pretty good mixes, but they don't translate real well. All the stuff you've heard on YouTube, it's a fact. And <laughs> There's only one way to fix it correctly, and we're going to get to work and do see if we can't do that. We've got small children, a uh, six-year-old and eight-year-old, and they both love music. And they don't really let me teach them stuff, but they come in here and play. And my son's a great drummer and he's eight years old. And uh, in fact, he plays bass and he plays a bit of guitar as well. And um, so it's, it's just awesome having music in the family. In fact, right now I've got a shoot off because I'm going to their local school and we're doing a, a, a music lesson, my wife and I, trying to get these eight year olds to sound like a band. It's a challenge, but it's a lot of fun. One massive crate of carbon, a large pile of foam. From Dennis, just collected a whole lot of MDF from the machine shop. I got lazy and had them do the cut the dados for me. Beginning to assemble the first cabinet. I just cut myself a template on the drop saw to sit in the end here to help me keep things square when I'm drilling some holes at the end here screwed together no glue yet just gonna test the sheets inside the dados they've been cut nicely because they seem to be going in just perfect until we get to the end might have to help that a bit up that end just testing the nine millimeter and the 13 millimeter sheets they fit in there really nicely I'm still yet to buy and cut the pegboard myself which six millimeter and six millimeter will go in here and that's the cavity that will be filled with the activated carbon looking good Just glued the main exterior and put all the extra screws in all the way around. I made these joints the old fashioned simple way, not quite as fancy as Dennis's custom ones, but they're nice and neat. I cut some pegboard today, ready to install. I added a little packer on both sides of the pegboard to stop it bowing bowing out when I fill it up with carbon and I've just run around the edge of each layer there uh, a bead of silicon right around just to kind of lock it in place so the top is just sitting on there while the silicone silicon dries and I've got my spacer sitting in, in there 
just to try and keep that reasonably well squared up. Just attempting to uh, load the carbon. We managed one bag of carbon came maybe two thirds of the way up the box. I think this is because we've made this cavity a wee bit bigger in this in these ones. Just drilling the holes for the top second cabinet. gone through and countersunk all the holes in this in these cabinets uh, using the drill on a slow speed. I noticed the sides here get a little bit bowed so the last two holes in the top I just clamp it a wee bit right across just to pull in the bow it fixes most of it and then I just drill the last hole there and the same on the other side Just uh, undercoating with a roller, does a reasonably good job. You could use a spray gun but it's a lot more work. Here's the first two units, paint it up. So far I haven't even really needed to glue the foam in there, it just, it's such a tight fit which is a good thing it just kind of sits in there and of course if later on it moves I'll come back and glue it there I may not even put speaker cloth on the front I might just leave it just like that undercoated primed and the foam just stuck straight to the front I might just use the cabinets just like that I can always paint them later I can always add speaker cloth and finish them off I'm not that bothered I just want them to work be effective Putting up some foam, put these, glue these blocks to the wall. I don't want the screws, I put little screws in just to hold it till the glue dries because I don't want the screws penetrating my relatively soundproof um, wall. Just manhandling the first cabinet on some wheels on a dolly. Myself, it's about 100 kilos, so it's a bit tricky actually. The hardest parts are just getting in my door across the barrier and across some cables which lead out to the other room where my computer is. Apart from that, it's moving around quite nicely. You can just sort of lean it and, and uh, pivot and use your weight. It's not too bad. I haven't bothered putting wheels on the bottom because once I set them down, I'm not going to move them. Hopefully. Just fitting some of the foam to the walls. So here we are near the end of the job. Took a little longer than I expected because um, my DAW blew up and we built a new, new PC and it was a bit complicated. There's, there's lots of foam around the place. There's those four big base absorbers back there. And I've still got a little bit to do down the back of the room behind me here. Um, I put Dennis's foam in my overhead panel as well. And um, I have to say the base absorbers, the BDA cabinets have made a huge difference. There they are, all four of them. Um, now I can walk around the room while music's playing and don't hear such a dramatic change in the low end. So that's been great. Excited to get on and do some mixing and hope you guys got some value out of this little project. I wish you luck. Recommend, highly recommend Dennis Foley and Acoustic Fields. Um, very helpful, practical, logical stuff. And uh, nothing's good without a good room. Thanks.